Hey everybody, here's another, well it's been a long time, but a helper video for ProBuilder. This one being for, for editing imported meshes, which is something pretty useful. Let's say you have these awesome tables you've built or imported from a asset store or whatnot, um, and you want the legs to be a little bit longer on all of them. So first of all, hopefully you have uh, done something like you have your FBX and then created a FBX, OBJ, whatever it is, and then created a prefab variant. You'll want to definitely always use that for any kind of um, mesh work in general. Just as a tip, make sure you go right click, create prefab variant, prefab itself won't work. That might be a bug, I don't know. Anyway, if you do that, you'll have a lot more control over, over these things. So assuming you've done that, you've dropped them into your scene and now you want to make sure all of these update and have these nice um, fixed up legs. So what we'll do is uh, first import ProBuilder if you don't already have it. Just go to Window Package Manager, pull it down. Uh, and then open up the Pro Builder tool set. So you go to Tools, Pro Builder, and Pro Builder Window. That'll bring this up. So from here, we can use the super professionally named Pro Builder Eyes. Uh, one thing, actually, I want to note real quick here is just a bug, but if this isn't lit up, if that button isn't there, um, make sure you deselect and reselect the object. There's a thing going on with that. Uh, anyway, then before you click it, you'll need to open up the options and make sure that Import Quads is turned off. Uh, if you have that on, you're gonna you're gonna have some troubles. Uh, in this case, um, that might not be true for everybody. In fact, let's just turn both of those off for now. Uh, I created these meshes with PolySketch, and then there's some differences there. So anyway, you may need to change those if you get weird results. And I'll hit Pro Builderize. It's gonna ask me about children of the selection because in my case, well, I can't click to show you here, um, but uh, often you'll have the same thing. I'll show you after I click yes. Uh, inside of here I have the actual mesh object is this different object right inside and there's that. Uh, so now anyway you can see I can close the option for Pro Builder Eyes. Um, you can see that this is now a Pro Builder mesh and that's on this particular prefab. Again this is why prefabs are a great way to do it. Only this one has been overridden here. The others are still perfectly standard objects. You can see in here just has the regular mesh. Um, so with this one now I want to do the editing. Really really simple. I'll just in this case go to the side view grab those verts and kind of pull them down. Awesome, that's exactly exactly what I wanted. Uh, so I've got done that nice little tweak to this one. I wanna apply it to the others. I could apply it now and then all the others would also gain the ability, uh, they, they'd become Pro Builder editable meshes. That has some goods and bads, of course, it means you can edit them all more easily, but it also means that that data is stored in your scene or other wonky ways, it's it's not great for source control. Uh, we know that we're fixing it by the way, um, but let's do it the simpler option. So you can not only uh, import and edit, you can also export with Pro Builder. So if I click the plus button next to export here, again, to get to the options for that, for that action instead of doing it directly, I can choose a couple things. Number one, I'll export as just a regular asset. So that'll make a mesh asset for, for Unity and replace source, make sure that's turned on. And if I do that, uh, just as the tooltip says, it will actually rip out all the PB stuff and just uh, apply in the asset that I'm exporting. So I'll hit export with those options on. I'm gonna pick where I want to put that. I'll just leave it in the, here for now, it doesn't matter. Well, I guess I created an import export example folder, might as well do that. Um, I guess it was called default before. I'm just gonna call it table uh, longer legs. This is the new mesh asset and hit save. When I do that, immediately you can see the uh, table now is no longer editable, so it doesn't have the, the triangle lines and such on there is a good indication of that. And it's just a super standard, oops, that's all the materials on this particular silly object, um, just a regular mesh. Uh, there it is. Um, so this is now, let's see, you can see it's pulling from here. We've created this new mesh asset. Uh, which is separate from your FBX. You can't overwrite the well, FBX, OBJ, whatever it is. Again, uh, you can't overwrite that, or in general shouldn't because um, reasons. Anyway, um, this way you have one that you can now use for all the others. And again, if you're using the prefab, it's very easy to do that. So let's pull this out a bit more. Uh, this object has this override on it. Super simple to open overrides, and I'll just click apply all. If you had other things, you'd kind of check through and see which you had. It's also a good option. You could revert if you realized, no, I really didn't want this. I'll just click apply all, and boom, there we go. All the other tables now have that new mesh. So that means, number one, they are all now referencing this this mesh file and not this one. So if I were to re-export from Blender or PolySketch or whatever, uh, I would need to um, 
reuse this process. And that's just a thing if you're not building or, or, or using things, uh, or sorry, doing your work in Pro Builder, you'll just have to deal with that. Um, but at least this way I can make that real quick, nice edit, and then um, continue on. So all my objects in my world will update, super duper nice, and it's just using a regular mesh in case you're concerned about keeping things uh, or keeping the, the Pro Builder editing uh, ability on all the objects. Cool, so I hope that helped. It's a great way to, to make these quick little edits, especially on objects that you might have imported from the asset store, that one friend that no longer talks to you, uh, whatever it might be in, in your situation. I won't get into it. Okay, cool, hope that helped, and I'll try to do some more of these. We have some good ones coming up, I think. Okay, bye.